First you need to remove what was there before. Remove everything, leaving just the main newel posts, which will form the basis of your new staircase. In most homes, the existing posts are sound and can be cut to length. To find the cutting line, place a spirit level or strip of wood firmly across the nosings of the treads and draw a line where it meets the post. This line is called the pitch line. Carefully measure to the center of the post, marking it at two points near the base. Use these marks to draw a vertical line. For the newel post at the top of the stairs, measure 201 mm up this line, starting from the pitch line you drew first. Now you can mark a straight line around the post using the set square. Cut the post along this line. To find the center of the newel base, draw two lines through opposite corners on the base to form a cross. The base will then be ready for drilling to make a hole for your Richard Burbage newel post. The easiest way of doing this is to use the Richard Burbage hole saw, which will drill a hole to the required size to take the newel spigot. You can then sand and chamfer the top face and corners of the existing newel base to finish. To achieve an even effect all round, you can use a paint pot as a guide. The newel base at the bottom of the stairs is prepared in exactly the same way, except that the cutting line is 264 mm above the pitch line. However, not all staircases have newel bases, or in some instances the existing newel is loose or under. Richard Burbage produce a range of different length newel bases to suit most situations. Having removed any existing hidden fixings such as screws and nails, gently split the newel using a broad faced chisel taking care not to damage the staircase treads and stringer. The newel base being replaced here is at the bottom of the stairs and the new Richard Burbage newel base needs to be marked and shaped to fit the staircase. First draw a line down the centre of the newel and measure 264 mm from the top or 201 mm for the top newel. Using an adjustable bevel, mark the staircase pitch line onto the base at this point. Then find the distance from the floor to the staircase pitch line drawn on the inside face of the stringer. Transfer this measurement to the newel base and saw the newel to length. The base is then marked and shaped using a drill and chisel or portable router so that it fits over the staircase stringer and bottom tread and riser. Clean the newel base using chisel and sandpaper and glue and screw into place. Your staircase may also have a half newel post on the landing. This must be removed completely, taking care not to damage the wall. You're now ready to prepare your Richard Burbage newel posts for fitting. Insert the tapered dowel peg provided into the newel post. Offer it up to the hole, checking the fit. Keep tapping in the dowel each time until the post sits tight in the base. Once it's in far enough, Saw off the peg flush with the bottom of the newel post and it's ready for fitting. Repeat this with the other newel Now for the base rail. Find the angle where the newel base and the base rail will meet using an adjustable bevel. Mark this off on the rail itself. Having sawn it off, you're ready to measure the top. Hold the base rail parallel to the string to find the required length. Then, using an offcut to hold it firmly in place, mark the base rail. 
Once it's cut, screw it into the string. Finish off by sanding down the newel posts and the base of your staircase is now complete.